want your perfect mind, your perfect mind. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing my at-home blowout hair tutorial. So you guys can see, this is the finished look. I love this look, this is one of my go-to hairstyles after I wash my hair, obviously. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is one of my most requested videos, so I'm excited to finally be able to do this for you guys. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So how I prep my hair is I use the Briogeo Farewell Frizz with the Orbe Run Through Detangling Primer. I just put these two in my hair every time I shower. It doesn't matter if I'm doing the blowout or not. I just personally, I think these two are the best detanglers. They smell amazing and they work really well. And because I am drying my hair, I am gonna use the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Protectant Cream. This one is a really, really good one. Basically, all of Briogeo's products are really good. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I talk about it a lot. And they just have, you know, the best products. You're also gonna need some clips to hold your hair back. So these ones are by T3. You're going to need these little um, kind of like Velcro rollers because these are gonna be used for the center of your hair. And then you're gonna need a round brush. This one is by T3. I can find out the exact size of the, I guess, barrel. And I'll place it down below or up above. I, I always get confused. Um, I'll place it in the description box. And then you also need a hair dryer. If your dryer has this little like end cap that is amazing i would turn it vertically to get the best results for your blowout this one is the t3 cura luxe so this one is a really really amazing hair dryer it's so aesthetic and like it works really well but i will say you do not need an expensive hair dryer to get a good blowout a few months ago i was in europe and i obviously did not bring my hair dryer so i had to use one that was in the hotel room and it was the worst hair dryer in the history of hair dryers i swear to you it could not have been worth more than ten dollars if even but i will insert a clip of what my blowout looked like afterwards right now good morning you guys so we are well we i keep saying we because i'm so used to being with someone else and i'm by myself right now so i just finished getting ready okay so that just goes to show you that you don't need an expensive hair dryer all you need is the round brush these little velcro rollers and then hair product i feel like the more smooth and like controllable your hair is, obviously the nicer the result will be. So we're just gonna start off by brushing the hair really well. And if your hair is not already like, rough dried, I would go ahead and do that at this point. Mine is pretty much rough dried already. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gather the crown and I'm gonna take one of these pink Velcro rollers and work my way to the top. Okay. So now you can see the very back is in a roller. Now I'm gonna take the middle section and put that in a roller as well and then move up to the front section. I said the last drink was the last drink. You make it hard to leave. We're telling secrets. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the front part of my hair and I'm gonna put it in a medium size velcro roller. So now you can see that I have three sections all in rollers. And then we're gonna take our two sides of hair, brush it out once more. And then from here, we're gonna section it into three parts. So, so about that much hair. And then with the rest of it, you're just gonna put it up. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I use the round brush. And this is the easiest way to achieve the best looking blowout. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you before I actually turn the hair dryer on, is you're gonna want to turn your nozzle vertically. If you don't have a nozzle, that's okay. This is still gonna work for you. But if you do have one, make sure to turn it vertically. Then you're gonna take your round brush and you're gonna take your first section of hair. So it can be about an inch. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your brush vertically as well, go like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your Hair dryer, follow it. So keep going vertically, and as you get closer to the bottom, that's when you're gonna start rolling. And because your brush is vertical, it's gonna be really easy to get the hair in and out. Then you're gonna hold it here for a few seconds, roll it back out, and then keep doing the spinning motion. And I like to spin away from my face 
but you're just gonna keep repeating this motion. So in the dark while drinking whiskey need I would fall in a second if you let me Cause you're all that I want Could you let me in the last drink was the last drink There's the first piece done and just keep going. I actually like to work from back to front. I feel like it's easier to do that so I would take a section of hair from the back like this and start doing it from here and then work your way up. But I don't want to leave. I want to get closer. Don't want the set to be old. Okay, so I moved you guys over because I feel like it's easier to see and it's easier for me to look into the mirror. So now this is what this side looks like. You can see that I have really nice like bounce to it. So now I'm going to start the other side of my head. So you're just going to do the same thing, but now you're obviously going to move in the opposite direction. The easiest thing for me to do is just switch the hand that I'm holding the brush with. Hold the brush with your left hand and then move outwards. But it's the same motion. Once you get to the bottom, that's when you'll start spinning it up. Dry, dry, dry. And then go down and keep going back up. What the ends of the hair look like. So now I'm going to take down the two sections and we're just going to repeat the same process over again. So I have pretty thick hair so because of this I section it into threes but if you have thinner hair you can do it in two sections. If you have really really thin hair which is not a problem at all you can just do it in one section. So now I have my second layer of hair and I'm going to do the same thing working from the back forwards. I'm not going to do anything different. If you want to switch the direction of the barrel, you're more than welcome to do that. And how you would do that is instead of putting the round brush on this side of your hair to go outwards, you'd put it on this side of your hair and go inwards like that. But same motion. So this is how you would do it outwards. And then if you like the look of moving it in, you would just do it this way instead. Wanna get closer, it's not over. Yeah, we could go back to my place. Cause I don't wanna waste no precious time. Okay guys, so I finished doing the rest of the sections. I still have this at the top of my head, but I figured showing you guys the same steps over and over again became a little redundant. So I basically just repeated at the same exact things. I do have layers in my hair, which is why you can see like different sections of the blowout. But other than that, everything else was exactly the same. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I would do to the top section. So I take it out one by one, take this back side and blow it out exactly how you would the other pieces. So another important step I forgot to mention is make sure that this part is blow dried. Now that that is dry, I'm going to take both Velcro pieces out. Let's go back to my place. If it's only for tonight, let's make it count. I love it, how you touch feels. I love it, how you look at me. Okay, and this is the completed blowout. You guys. From the front once more. And that is the finished blowout tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're coming from my Instagram as always. Thank you so much for coming and supporting my YouTube channel. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I know this was one of the videos that I've been asked to do the most probably. So I'm so happy that I was able to do this for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. DM me. However else you want to let me know, email me. I don't really care. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just want your perfect mind, your perfect